What's up guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing three new glitches and tricks with you guys in GTA Online, which will work after all the latest updates and patches on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and the PC. So with that being said, let's go ahead then and get straight into things. Okay then, so to start things off, the first glitch which I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video is a launch glitch and it involves these fuel tankers down at the airport. So what you want to do first of all then, once you've made your way to this location, is blow them up by simply using a grenade or a sticky bomb or something along those lines. And once you've done that, you want to climb inside any of these fuel tankers. This should work with any of them, and you want to stand anywhere alongside the wall as well. Now in case you guys didn't know, once you've blown these up, the walls themselves, the actual metal sheets, are no longer solid. So you can completely walk through them and use this as a glitch. Now as you guys can see, as you slowly edge forward, your character will begin to drop down. When you see your character dropping all the way down and about to leave the fuel tanker, you want to very quickly walk backwards. And when you do so, it should glitch your character out and force them to launch up into the air, as you guys just saw in the video. Now it's one of those things which isn't too difficult, it's all about just finding that sweet spot where your character begins to drop down from the fuel tanker to the floor below, and when you find that spot you want to very quickly move backwards, and that's when your character is going to get launched up into the air. So you might find at first it will take you a few attempts to do this, but once you find that sweet spot, you'll find this glitch extremely easy and very simple to do, and you should be able to hit it pretty much every single time. Now it's not a massive launch glitch, but it is one of those ones you will get different results with every single time. So go ahead and give this glitch a try if you're down at the airport at some time with a few friends, as you should be able to have some fun with this one. Anyway, so let's move on then to the second glitch in this video. Now this one is a pretty weird one, but a funny one nevertheless, and it basically allows you to sit on top of people or inside of people at the barber store. Now I'm pretty sure this glitch does work at any barber store around the map, but I'm using the one just down the road from the Los Santos Customs as an example. But just make your way to any one of these, and as long as there's a couch inside, this glitch should work for you. So what you want to do then is have one person sit down in the middle of the couch, like my two friends are doing right now in the video, and the other person, whether it's you or your friend, has to stand directly in front of them and then press the button on their controller or their keyboard to then sit down. And rather than being placed down alongside them, you'll sit directly inside that character. And there we go, that's all there is to it for this glitch. So by doing this, you can now sit down or sit on top of other characters inside the barber store. And as you guys can see in this video, there are currently three of us sitting inside of each other, but if you wanted to, you could literally have a full lobby of 30 people doing this glitch at the same time. Moving on though to the third and final glitch in today's video, this being a secret location or a hiding spot which allows you to hide directly inside of a wall which takes place at this location right here on the map just down the road from the Vespucci beach and the helicopter pad. So what you want to do is make your way to this location right by here and follow exactly where I go in the video. So climb up this wall and walk across this grass until you come to these trees right by here. And basically what you want to do is lean up against this wall right by here and just keep on leaning and moving away and leaning back up again until eventually your character then goes behind this tree and leans up against the wall. And what you can then do is walk directly inside the wall like I did right here in the video. And from here then, you can go into first person and see directly through this wall. But as you guys can see, when you're in third person, no one can see you when you're inside the wall. So you're completely hidden and you can use this, like I said, as a hiding spot if players are trying to chase you down, if you have a bounty on your head, maybe if you want to generally hide from your friends or whatever. It's a pretty cool spot, not too difficult to actually get into, and it's in a pretty active zone as well. So this is definitely a pretty useful hiding spot to bear in mind if you're in the area and in need of hiding from other players in your lobby. So there we go then guys, with that being said, that's pretty much it then for this video. These are three new glitches and tricks in GTA Online. If you guys have enjoyed this video, then be sure to drop a like as it helps me out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. If you guys have a favorite glitch or trick in this video, then definitely go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.